G'day punters, uh, this video is going to be about the Battery Manager 30 that I have in my camper trailer. I have a um, Red Arc Battery Manager uh, BMS 30S 2 I've had some problems with the charging circuit. Uh, initially I had an error code or error dialog box pump up showing that the AC supply was uh, over temperature. Um, I found that the uh, 240 volt power plug from the BMS into my power board, the wires inside that plug were loose, so I've tightened them up. Um, I stuck the uh, power cord back into that uh, plug arrangement and I still had the same problem. Uh, I've replaced that power board as well now. Uh, I then spoke to Red Arc about it and went through some diagnostics with them and uh, as you'll see in the following video they sent me a, a battery shunt and a battery monitor uh, to install uh, got to say that uh, the uh, after supply uh, warranty service has been fantastic the s2 that i had in the camper trial is about three years old um, they've replaced as i say the um, shunt and the battery sensor and if you watch through the video They've sent me through a, a BMS 30 S3, the current model to replace the S2, all at no cost to me. Uh, so great support and I can say that um, I recommend and uh, commend their after sale support and uh, worry support um, through their tech guys. Anyhow, I um, hope you enjoy the rest of the vid. Red Arc have sent me the battery sensor slash shunt this is what's came in the package that's the shunt there in the battery center that goes to the positive on the batteries that goes to a junction box and then connects to the main unit uh, the wiring diagrams here that's the battery sensor this this wire here with the um, little plug on the end there goes into a little junction one side goes to the remote monitor, the other side goes up to the actual management system up the top there. So, job at the moment is I've got to isolate the batteries and then pull out the battery sensor and the shunt and reinstall this one. Let's see how it goes. Alright, I've just about um, got the wiring all unsecured. You can see I've pulled out one of the lithium batteries just to give me better access in there. I'll just so I can get access to these wires. That's the um, battery positive wire that I've got off. This uh, loom here is just a uh, protection loom that just the installers, um, Jamie Storing Solution, just um, bundled it all up and secured it up out of the way. Now I've got to disconnect one of these plugs. I'm guessing it's probably going to be this one here because that um, goes back to the shunt. Or the battery sensor over there and uh, so I've got to unravel all that and then disconnect the cables from both sides of the shunt there's a couple of mounting screws either side of that and I should be able to pull that off then oh that's all the um, leftover panduit straps and cable ties uh, from this rewire inside you can see I've got the new um, battery sensor in cable runs over to here and I've used lots more cable ties just to make it nice and tidy again and up behind is where the new cable is and all the excess now put the new well, put the battery back in uh, reconnect it all and we'll do a test and see if um, the replacements fix the issue I had well, it's all back assembled now the battery's back in I've reset up uh, the management system I quite haven't got the result I was hoping for it is sensing the battery. You can see up in the top of the screen there it shows that it's charging. 
sensing the 240 volts. I've got a light on out the back. You can see it's drawing 1.4 amps from the battery out to the power source, but I'm not getting anything from the BMS at all. It shows that it's boost. The manager feels like it's getting nice and warm. When I um, check my batteries on my phone, you can see that there it's discharging. So I'm not getting any charge into the batteries. So I have to have another chat with Red Arc and see where we go to from there. I've been on to Red Arc and they've told me to do a complete reset where you see the manager 30 sitting off. I had hooked up the 240 volts, so I've disconnected the 240 volts and unplugged it from mains. Uh, then I unplug this green plug up here. I believe some of them have got glove scrub screws. Mine has got a um, straight edge screw in the end there, which is why I need to mount, de demount it. I unplugged the 240 volt supply there anyhow. Then I had to disconnect the battery sensor wire, which is positive, which is this wire up here. I think you can see it. Uh, and before doing that, I disconnected earth. So the batteries were completely isolated from the system. I then let the system sit for about five to seven minutes and then reconnected the battery positive or the battery sensor wire, the battery earth, Connected that green plug up again, plugged in the 240 to the manager, plugged it into the 240 system, and that's a complete reset apparently. Um, it hasn't resolved the problem, so I'm just waiting for a phone call back from Red Arc. This is a um, manager um, 1230S2, the current version is an S3, and I think the difference between an S2 and S3 is the S3 will actually continue to charge lithiums even when lithiums have a zero um, voltage across the terminals. Whereas uh, these Red Arc uh, S2s, the managers, uh, need a battery uh, voltage, so they need to sense voltage before they start charging. Right, yeah, I've just spoken to Todd at Red Arc down in Adelaide, explained that. Um, Doing the reset didn't change it. He's actually going to send me a new box. Swap it over, sending it by um, toll priority. So he reckons he'll get it here in a couple of days before my next trip in 10 days. We'll swap that over and see what happens. I did mention to him yesterday when I plugged in the 240 volts after I um, reinstalled it, um, the box was actually getting quite warm and I smelt a bit of an odor, which isn't very nice. And he said, yeah, just completely disconnect it. So I'll go ahead now and pull this right off and um, next video um, we'll stick in the new box and see how it goes. So I've got the replacement manager from Red Arc. This is the new one here. It's a 1230S3. The only difference I can see is um, it's got a second bus connector this side here. So this is the S3. That's what we say um, the original one and that's an extra one. And this is the S2, the one that's faulty. There's no second bus connector. Red Arc say I need to stick that in. They call it a terminating resistor for some reason or other. I uh, probably could find out more about it on their website. Now I'm going to install it into the camper and see if we resolve the issues that I've been having. Well, yeah, I've reconnected everything. So the Red Arc instructions say to ensure the terminating resistor, which you saw me before is in first, Re reconnect the green power plug, connect up the bus cable, uh, hook up 240 volts. And I've done all that, uh, reset the time and everything. On the charger you can see that the battery up there showing there's a charge going in, appears to anyhow, and it'll go straight down into the uh, battery charge like it says the battery is 100% now I know that's wrong and I know that's wrong because I can check that on my phone and I'll show you shortly it's reading 244 volts and you can see that that square is all black previously it was um, 
There was no color, coloring in it at all. And we go to the output status. It shows the BMS is putting out 32.3 amps. Most of it's going into the battery. And I'm drawing point, or point 0.1 of an amp to a load, point 0.2 of an amp to a load sort of thing. Now I just got to log on to my battery system or the batteries anyhow and we'll have a look. It's just I'm looking for the batteries now. It's found both batteries. State of charge 66%. You should be able to see that there. Go to the next screen. And it's showing that um, on the top right uh, that battery is receiving 16.1 amps battery 17.4 degrees so it shows me that I'm getting a charge into that battery we we'll go out and have a look at the other battery just go back out of this one stay charge 65 percent go to the second screen shows me I'm receiving 16.6 .6 amps into that battery so that all seems to be working okay to me now so I'm just going to ring up Todd at Red Arc thank them for the um, supply of the new BMS um, 30S 3 let them know that it all appears to be working okay and I'll just check that state of charge on this reading again um, probably tomorrow make sure it's okay a little bit of warmth there, but you know, it's pumping out 30 amps. I imagine that'd be warm. No funny smells. Um, all seems to be good.